What is going on Warriors of Tamaris? Back again with another Call of Dragons video. In today's episode, we're gonna check out the newest addition to Call of Dragons, aka the Moon Bear. A war pet that works with almost all the melee legions in the game that can do some kind of skill damage. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys four different builds that you can use for your cavalry and infantry. If you're new here, subscribe for more content, turn on that bell notification and never miss out. Like the video, share it with your friends, drop some comments down below. Let's get started. Okay, Warriors of Tamaris, brand new season, brand new warpet. The Moon Bear is in the house, and today we're gonna see what this warpet is capable of doing. We're gonna start off with the talent skill. It is known as the Moon Rage. The attack range is melee. It says, deals diffused damage to up to three enemy legions within range, including the target. Deals 100% more damage when cast by an infantry legion. So what does this second part of the skill mean? It means if you use infantry, the amount of damage that you get is going to be doubled. So it's kind of like two times the damage. The damage type is going to be physical. Damage factor. Total damage factor of commander and deputies rate skill. Maximum is 4500 times these attributes that you see here that are going to depend on the attributes of your warpet. Now the skill is pretty much straightforward. You're going to need two heroes that do skill damage to maximize the damage output of this pet. So the damage of the primary hero and the damage of this deputy hero will be added up and they should not be more than 4,500. So that is how this pet work. It's going to be awesome for both cavalry and infantry. Let us get into the four different builds that you can try. Okay, Warriors of Tamaris, we're going to begin the video by checking out infantry build for the moon bear here is the first one this is going to be the universal build for infantry in the game you can use this with pretty much any infantry that you want to pair up with this warpet so you're gonna have moon rage you'll have advanced moon rage you'll have intense moon rage you'll have the two crit skills over here that are going to crit both moon rage and advanced moon rage and then you have um, fatal bite that's gonna boost your damage you have counter strike and you have this other counter strike family as well and then you have the tooth and claw over here there are nine skills total as you know only eight skills can be put on a pet which is why i have this arrow here showing swap so now you're going to swap intense moon rage with the tooth and claw to make it eight skills on the pet you're going to remove this from the pet because the tooth and claw is going to boost this skill right here it's going to boost advanced moon rage it's going to boost moon rage as well so let us go to the skills and see what the skills look like let me find a moon bear okay here is a moon bear let's go to the skills and see what i just clicked we'll work with the three star version so you have the moon rage this is what it says and then you have the advanced moon rage which does some kind of physical pet skill damage factor you can crit this with the two crit skills that we have here you can increase the damage with the tooth and claw the intense moon rage is not going to increase the damage of this thing that's why you need to remove it and put the tooth and claw and then we have the intense moon rage here you can also have it on the pet if you want to have it you can remove one of these crit skills and then keep this intense moon rage it's gonna be up to you now the other skills that we're also looking at are these ones right here we have here is the counter strike it's gonna let you do damage with counter attack which is good and then we have the advanced counter strike 100 percent to deal damage to the target legion when counting when casting counter strike so you have these two crit skills that are going to crit this advanced counter strike and then tooth and claw is also going to increase the damage which is why you're going to put the tooth and claw on the pet what else do i need to show you here um the description of tooth and claw it says war pet skill damage dealt plus this damage factor that you get over here which is pretty good so this is going to be the first build for the infantry gonna expand it again if you want to check it out this is what it looks like 
infantry. You remove the intense moon rage. So let's check out the next build. The next build of the pet is going to be infantry skill. This is a build that you can use on um, Mogro and Goresh because they are going to be doing a lot of skill damage. It's going to be insane. So the skills that we have are as follows. You're going to put these two crit skills. So let's go to the talent trees of the heroes and then you see why you need to use these skills. So we're going to check out Nika is an infantry with a skill talent tree. So if you go over here, we're just going to assume that this is Mogro, okay? So this is Mogro. You're going to be pairing Mogro with Goresh. Over here you have hero skill focus. You're going to get 10% crit rate. And then here, you're going to be able to increase the damage of your crit as well. Your Legion deal 15% more hero skill crit damage. So here you have 10% hero skill crit rate. And when you combine it with these two crit rate from the pet, if you have them at three stars, you could get all the way up to 18% hero skill crit rate, which is huge. And then you're going to pair up Mogro with the skill talent tree and use Goresh. We have Goresh over here. He has this skill known as Ruthless. With Skoggle, you're going to be doing 10 skill damage every second if you have 5 nearby targets. But if you don't have Skoggle, you're going to be doing 5 um, Ruthless to 5 nearby targets. The Counter Strike is going to help you. It can trigger another one. So on average, you could be doing maybe 7 skill damage every second instead of 10 if you have Skoggle. So this is how it's going to work. The skill is going to be insane. If you check out Mogro, Mogro can do like a lot of hero skill damage like three times. It's going to be nuts. When we scroll down over here, let's find Mogro and see what he's capable of doing. Mogro has this lash out ability that's going to let him do hero skill damage 450 fa 50 factor to three targets every second for three seconds. On top of that, the enemy are bruised. They're weak. They're going to be taking a lot of damage. To make things even better, you have the second skill that's going to let you do hero skill damage bonus of 15%, which is huge. With all the skill crits, it's going to be awesome, which is why we have this Warped build over here. You can try this out and see how it works. I think it's going to pop off and give people a lot of damage. So let's go back to the Warped section and then we have a look at the skills that we just clicked. Gonna zoom this a little bit. Okay, so we go over here. Let's see these two skills. We have this one right here. Pursuit Predation. It should give you some good stuff. Crit rate. And then we have another one here. Track and Hunt. So if you have both of these at three stars with like some good attributes, you can like do some serious damage to your enemies. It's going to be pretty good. You could push your crit rate to maybe 14%, 15%, 16%, give or take, depending on your attributes. So I think this is going to pop off for Mogro and Goresh. You can also use it with Mogro and Danfell. Now let's move on to the cavalry builds. Okay, Warriors of Tamaris, it's time to check out the Bruin Bear, I mean the Moon Bear build for the cavalry in the game. Let us expand this thing and then we check out the images. So we're going to check out the first one, which is the cavalry skill. I mean the cavalry. This is what you use for all the cavalry in the game with your Moon Bear. So let's see what skills we are working with over here. You're going to notice something interesting. There is no tooth and claw here. Even though Tooth and Claw can boost um, Fierce Attack, it can boost Advanced Moon Rage, it can boost Moon Rage. I don't have Tooth and Claw here. Why? That is because Tooth and Claw is a strength based skill. I already have three strength skill here. Therefore, I cannot add another one. That is why we don't have a Tooth and Claw here. I decided to put the Intense Moon Rage to boost the Moon Rage skill instead. So this is one of those instances where you're going to need to use the Intense Moonrage. 
because you have no choice. You're going to have the two crit skills. You're going to have the um, fatal bite to increase your damage. You have fierce attack and then you have this skill that's going to make you trigger fierce attack more often. So this is going to pop off with your cavalry. So let's go to the skills and click on some of them. We go to the three star. The newest addition here was for cavalry would be okay you have a fierce attack here it's gonna help you do a lot of damage especially if you have a nice strength factor it's pretty good and then you have intense fierce attack that's gonna make you trigger more fierce attack when you do skill damage from those unyielding rush it should be awesome what else are we gonna have a look at so the other skills are over here you have the angry roar you have the blood roar and you have the fatal bite i think this about covers it for the cavalry you put the three core skills and then you have these ones over here it's gonna do some nice damage with the unyielding rush against the ranged units moving on to the second build for the cavalry i call it the cavalry skill it's almost the same with the one for the infantry this is done mainly because Mogro can do skill damage to three targets for three seconds. So that is a lot of skill damage. You know there are plenty of cavalry heroes with the skill talent tree. If you trigger um, the skill focus from the skill talent tree, you should be able to add more skill crit rates with this one over here. And then let's say you have someone like Urag and Mogro paired up together. You have so many skill damage. You have the ability to turn all of them into criticals with these two skills that we have right here. So this is something you might want to consider. You will just have to look at your attributes to see which one of these great skills you want to put. For example, you might have like a very nice agility. So you could use angry raw instead of this blood raw to get the crit rate. You will keep your fierce attack family to help you out with the unyielding rush. You're going to have the advanced moon rage. Um, we remove the other intense moon rage because there is no room for it anymore. So this is what you can use. What do you guys think of these builds that I just showed you? Let me know down below in the comment section. Me personally, I think I'm going to be using this infantry skill for Goresh and Mogro. I think it should work well. It should work good in those group fights because Goresh is going to give you 20% resistance and then 60% attack which should be nice so this is what I'll probably use for my infantry if I do decide to use Goresh and Mogro and then for the cavalry I will be using either this one or this one or maybe I'm just going to build a bunch of different pets to use so let's go and see some marches to see how they're going to synergize very well with this pet. So one of the marches is going to be Mogro and Goresh. So yeah, Goresh is going to give you, you know, 60% um, attack and damage taken minus 20%. This is going to be good. I want to see how this is going to affect the skill damage of Mogro if you pair him with Goresh. You can also go Mogro and Danfell. It's going to work pretty good. So these are going to be the different builds that we're going to check out. You could have Urag with Mogro to give you some nice damage. We're going to see how that works. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new, subscribe for more content. Turn on that bell notification and never miss out. Until then, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye for now.